hello everyone i'm tommy and i'm so excited to welcome you to my channel thank you so much for clicking this video today i'm going to be showing you how i make a double layered gathered skirt the measurements we'll need for the skirt are the waist measurement the skirt length the layers length depending on your preference and the number of layers you want and the hip measurements i need my hip measurement to determine the width and the fullness of the skirt usually i multiply by my hip measurement by three my hip measurement is 40 so in this video i'm going to be using 40 times three to So the next step is to actually cut the layers. I want my lower layer to be 22 inches and the upper part to be 16 inches. So I'm actually going to add to remove sorry to remove the two inches for waistband. I'm going to be using two inches for waistband. I'm going to remove that two inches from my measurement. So now I have 22 inches minus two and 16 inches minus two. So I'm going to be using 20 inches and 14 inches. I hope you guys understand. So now I'm, I have 20 inches and 14 inches because I have removed 2 inches to account for the waistband. Now I'm going to add 1.5 inches allowance to both layers because I want 1 inch for my hemming allowance and then I want the other half inch to attach to my waistband. So after cutting the two layers, I'm just going to sew the two layers together to stabilize it. And then I'm going to use my needle and thread to make gathers. I find this technique easy because I'm not manipulating the gathers on the machine directly. But if I use the thread, I'm able to like lay the fabric down and manipulate it and like walk around the gathers and the kind of and the one I want. It's just I just find it easier. So basically what I do is to measure the length of the thread and make it my waist measurement and then I had about 3 to 4 inches allowance to allow me to manipulate the gathers and like to make room to make to do any adjustment to the gathers as you So the next thing I do is to cut out my waistband. My waist measurement is 34 inches, so I'm going to be cutting 34 inches and I'm going to be making it 2 inches long. So I'll add about 2 inches allowance to the 34 inches making it 36 inches and then because I want my waistband to be 2 inches long I'm going to add about 0.5 inch allowance to it to attach it to the main um, skirt so for the for the um, what I'm going to be doing is to use my um, tailor's chalk and the ruler to actually do the line just to just to make it accurate
what I do next is to attach the waist band to the garters. I use pins to stabilize it. And then I just take this and I sew it. As soon as I'm done with that, what I do next is to remove all the pins. You have to make sure you actually get this part right. You have to remove all the pins because you just don't want to wear your skirt and have pins poking you everywhere. So as soon as I'm done removing all the pins, I fold the band and then I top stitch it to close it. What I do next is to hem the lower part and for my hemming I use the M tape I got from my local dollar store for one dollar. It's amazing because it's so easy to use and it makes the hem neat and you don't have to worry about stitching it, stitching the hem or maybe like it's just it's just an easy method that I like for something as simple as what I'm making today. So you just take it and then peel the top off and tape it together you have to be very careful though because you have to do it section by section to avoid mistakes if you are too fast it's gonna make the m uneven and a little bit rough you don't want to do that you want to avoid that so you have to be careful with it Next, I put both ends together and mark where I want my zipper to stop. I stitch together the both ends using my 1 inch allowance up to the point where my zipper is going to end. And then the next step is to attach the zipper to the allowance with pins and then I top stitch. I remove the pins and then we are done with the skirts.
so this is the finished look guys i hope you guys have fun doing this project as as i have and i and if you guys have any questions just let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it don't forget to like subscribe and share this video and i'll see you in my next one thank you and enjoy bye